Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 71475, Mr. Oz's space car from the LEGO Dreams theme. This set contains 350 pieces, 3 minifigures, and will retail for $29.99 in the US when it officially releases on January 1st, 2024. This set was gifted to me for review by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Now because this is a LEGO Dreams set, it is also a 2-in-1 set, and I will be showing off both builds in this video. So make sure to watch the video all the way through if you want to see both. Also make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and let me know in the comments which LEGO Dreams set you want to see an early review on next. I'm getting super close to 100,000 subscribers, which would be an amazing milestone to reach, so thank you all very much for your support. And now, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So here's the main build of Mr. Oz's space car, and I absolutely adore this. It reminds me a lot of Space Police 3, which is a theme I grew up with as a kid. Just the combination of like a classic sports car with just a spaceship. It's such a fun and wacky concept that perfectly like fits what LEGO should be in my opinion. There's quite a bit going on in this build too, so let's look up closer at each individual bit. Starting at the hood of the car, you can see we have the Dreams variant on the Classic Space logo right here, where of course instead of the planet in the center, it's the Dreams Hourglass logo. The license plate on the front of the car says Dreams, which is pretty funny. And then where the wheels of the car would typically be, we have stud shooters instead. These of course are meant to be like blasters to shoot at enemies, and what you do is you just spin this black part right here and each of those individual studs will shoot out. I'm sure many of you have seen this before, but yeah, there you go. And I can continue that, but then I'll lose all the studs and I don't really want to do that right now. But you guys get the general idea. There's one of those neat sides where there's a lot of firing you can do. Unfortunately, there's not like a super easy way to turn that. Like usually the six stud stud shooters have like a thing in the back that you can turn. Like I was expected to be able to turn the actual wheel, but no, that doesn't do it. You do actually have to turn the stud shooter part. So it's not as intuitive as some other builds that use that part, but it's not the biggest deal either. It's perfectly fine to shoot. Moving back in the car, we have some more stickers. This has a blue classic spaceman as well as a sticker that says yo, which we saw that in some of the first wave Lego dream sets as well. And on the opposite side, Side, we have that same gradient design though with the dreams classic space logo again then in the center of the car this windshield is a super cool part this is like a translucent sparkly blue color which we really don't see lego use all too often i believe it originates from lego dots or lego friends but it's not used outside of those themes really ever and even in those themes it's normally only used for like really small pieces so seeing it used on a big part this windshield is super cool and it also just fits with the color scheme perfectly that might be my favorite piece in this entire set it just looks so cool if we pop this open though we can take a look at the interior it looks cushioned right we have all these tan pieces, classic Lego steering wheel at the front, and of course it's meant to fit the Mr. Oz figure that comes in the set. Now Mr. Oz does have this super bulky armor piece on, but they did have that in mind, so you're still able to plop him down in there even with that part. There's Oz actually sitting in the ship, so now we can close this back up around him. And because of the sparkles in the blue, you can't really see him while he's in there. I mean, maybe ever so slightly from certain angles. Yeah, you can see him a little bit, but he is mostly hidden away. This has a stickered trans blue console piece on it, a radar dish on one side, and a robot arm on the other. And of course, the single stud in the center is the perfect size for Albert. The robot arm can be hinged and moved around. And it's got a clip on the end so we could go over and pick up something. And there's a huge range of motion there because you can see the platform that Albert's actually on can spin and that moves the robot arm. The arm itself has three points of articulation, one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then this great piece that's connected to can also move down. So all those things combined, there's just a huge range of motion here. You can basically grab anything you want, which that is always fantastic for play. Around the sides where the back wheels would typically be, we have the parts of a space shuttle. This one, once again, has that same classic space logo. While the build's identical on the other side, though, the sticker's different. This time, it's like this golden gradient. And these two have a little bit of motion to them. You can fold them up like this so they're straight against the car, or have them down like this, so that way it's creating more of an angle. I think the angle probably looks the best, but both are cool. It's entirely up to you how you want to display it. And then finally, we have these four wheels at the back, which are all meant to be thrusters, but they can also spin. And again, these give off like major space police three vibes i absolutely love that part there's a really cool design to the back of the car too here let me take these off so you can see it better i love the incorporation of these anti-studs like actually using the anti-studs as a part of the design that looks fantastic and the transition from the side to the back is super smooth and finally if we flip this over it's not the prettiest on the underside you can see it does use one of like the speed champions body pieces but it's just a lot of wacky colors down here however what i wanted to point out is these pieces right here they're not really seen in the main part of the build but those are actually an all-new lego color for this year reddish orange it's used in a few 2024 sets across a few different themes and most of those sets, it's like blatantly used, but in this set, it's actually hidden away as a part of the build. So that is cool to get, just a nice bonus. So I thought it was worth pointing out. And I suppose that's about it for the main build of Mr. Oz's space car. In short, I like it. I would have liked maybe if the wings on the side were a little bit bigger, maybe a little more prominent, but that's not the biggest deal. I think it's very fun at the very least. The car body looks fantastic, and the space add ons are really good too. Best part though is for sure that windshield piece that looks amazing, and with the bright orange and everything, it really ties everything together. Really just an amazing build for this set. And then we have the side build, which I. I don't even know what to say about this. It's like a little cart. Um... <laughs> I'm at a loss of what to say. It's just a couple of Techni pieces, some wheels on the side. It uses some of the extra parts in this set. It's not particularly good, but it's here, I guess. I'm not going to complain about getting something extra because these parts are used in the alternate build of this set. So this just gives you something to do with them when you don't have the alternate build together. I suppose it could be used to like carry the space car from place to place, right? Like that. 
Or actually, no, the space car is too heavy for that. So I don't honestly know why it's here, but I mean, it's here. You can sit a figure on it if you want. Not much else to say on it, though. Not a particularly good build, but it's fine, I guess. But what I do really like is the other side build in this set. And this is a nightmare creature, which is just meant to be like an enemy in this set. It's got the trans pink wings, which do come in quite a few dream sets, but very cool parts. And it's got these four tentacles, which you can walk around on or use as like a claw to capture something and fly away with them. For example, you can capture the jaded minifigure in this set. And there's how it looks to just have him held there. But my favorite part about this build has to be this brain piece at the top that's just a standard Lego minifigure head with a brain printing on it, and that's not been used on any of the other Nightmare creatures, but that looks so cool. It just adds to the overall creepiness of this character. Really, really love that. So yeah, good build, good inclusion. I like this a lot. Now before we move on to the minifigures in the set, I want to take a look at the instruction booklet, because the Dreams instruction booklets are always very interesting, because they are fully illustrated on the cover. So here we have a look at everything, and yeah, there's that little car build, which looks a lot better here than it does in person, but I really love the way they drew the Nightmare creature here. Anyway, in the instructions, they just have you build this regular car for Mr. Oz. And then when you get to bag three, you have two different options on what you want to build. You have the space car, which is of course what we just looked at, but then we also have like a rover car. So that's what I'm going to rebuild the set into now. Here's the full illustration for the space car and the full illustration for the rover car. You can see here the side build is part of what's rebuilt, but the nightmare creature is not. You keep that across both builds. So now with all that in mind, let me take this build apart and rebuild it into this one. Actually, real quick before I rebuild this into the alt build, I want to show you this in just the plain car form. Because yes, this is another option you have. The set does come with just plain car wheels. So if you don't want this to be a space car and you just want it to be a car, that's an option you have. Now, I do have to say, even just as a normal car, like, this does look good. It kind of just feels like an unlicensed Speed Champions car, not to the same level, like, those cars are really good. But it's pretty dang close. Like, this is genuinely a nice looking car. But of course, it's the same exact build you just saw, just with all the space elements taken off of it, so I don't have too much else to show you here. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an example of what this looks like. So if you want to display the set like this, this is an option you have. But now let me take the wheels back off so I can show you the full alternate build. And then here's the full alternate build of the set. And the car is now turned into a rover, and I think that's interesting. I think it's a fun concept. I definitely prefer the other version of this set, but it keeps the space theming while still being a very different build, and that's something I appreciate. The hard plastic wheels are able to roll around on the ground, and it does definitely capture the look of a space rover. It just feels very silly seeing the rover wheels with just like a normal like sports car body, though I guess that's kind of the point. The robot arm and the radar disc are still here, though you can see they've been moved up and the robot arm's been shortened a little bit, but there's still that clip on the end so you can move it around and like pick things up if you want. And then radar disc can still be moved back and forth as well, spun around a little bit. The stud shooters have been moved to Albert Station out the back, and they still function the same way you turn them stud shoot out. I guess you have a bigger range of motion on these now, which is something. But yeah, it's just a different take on the same build. However, with this alternate build, there's also a new side build introduced of this tiny little space shuttle. Now you can use this for Albert or Mr. Oz or any other character. There's two studs at the back for a character to sit. And I mean, this looks good. I like the shape of everything. I think the wheels, the thrusters out the back is very smart, but I don't have too much else to say on it. Cool alternate option, but I think the main build of this set's definitely better. It is two very different builds though, so I guess you just pick the one that you prefer. So now, with all that being said, let me take a look at the minifigures in this set, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. So here are the two actually interesting figures in the set. We have Mr. Oz and we have Albert. Now, both of these two are exclusive to this set, which is surprising. I'm not sure why that is. And I'm in two minds about that. On the one hand, it's very cool to get, like, these new golden versions of these characters with all new prints, all new everything. Even this hourglass piece, which is not just used on Mr. Oz's torso, it's used elsewhere, too. Like, the original white version is. That is recolored for this set, and it's now gold and blue instead of white and black. So yeah, I think it's really great to get new versions. That being said, I kind of would have liked a way to get the original versions of these guys for cheap, because Mr. Oz and Albert are incredibly important characters in the LEGO Dreams show. Like, if you guys aren't familiar with the Dreams, Mr. Oz is basically the Sensei Wu of Dreams. He's like the leader and mentor character to the main characters. So I think there should be a more accessible way to get him. And this is nice, don't get me wrong, but this is not a suit he's ever worn in the show. I guess maybe he'll wear it in Season 2, but most of these sets seem to be based off Season 1. So yeah, I'm not sure if I like that we got these new versions or not. Happy to get new versions, that's very cool, but I would have like the original versions in a cheaper set. All of that being said, as minifigures, these are really, really good. I do love Mr. Oz's hairpiece. That's the same one he did have last wave. The, like, built-in beard and mustache is really unique, but I quite like that style. I'd like to see Lego do more hairpieces like that in the future. In terms of accessory, he just comes with, like, a standard ray gun build. And then, yeah, you can see he has, like, this giant golden space armor with that printed hourglass piece on the front. However, if we remove that, we can take a full look at his torso print. And this is wacky. What's going on here? It kind of reminds me of, like, an Iron Man suit, right, with the blue energy in the center sort of going 
throughout the rest of his body. And also a little bit of like Ninjago Prime Empire. It looks really good though. That blue really pops against the gold and I appreciate like we even have toe printing here. There's little printed gold flakes too on top of the gold piece, which that's always my favorite thing because it's so subtle, right? Like from some angles you can't see it at all, but when you reflect it in the light just the right way, that looks so good. Turning around to the back, there's like this back torso print too. Again, very similar thing going on. And if we take his hairpiece off, we can see his full face print, which I believe this is also new for this set. He's got like a blue magnifying glass over one eye and his mustache and beard are printed here in their metallic silver. Very, very interesting look. Genuinely just an amazing figure all around. I can't believe this guy's in a $30 set. And then Albert, obviously quite a bit more simple, but still not a bad figure by any means. He uses like the Dream's tiny figure body, one of these 10 bubble pieces to be like a space helmet. And then you can see he's just got a little printed monkey face, which is adorable. I do appreciate him having a printed torso here. And that face print is new because his old head was printed on white, I believe, or black, but now it's printed on gold instead, which is probably an unnecessary change, but another one that I very much appreciate. Again, I think it's so bizarre we have two exclusive figures in this set, but I am not complaining because both of these do look really good. Yeah, what else is there to say? I absolutely love these two. Do they need to exist? Probably not, but am I happy they do? Yeah, they're they're really nice. And then the final figure in this set is Jaden, who's meant to just be like a generic sleeping kid for you to rescue. And I don't know why Jaden has become so common. Like, yes, Jaden is a character in the show, but barely. He has like two lines. If that, even, I don't know if he even talks in the show. But in the sets, he is just the thing to save. And I think this is now the fifth set that he comes in? Which is so weird, he's more common than some of the main characters. It was weird in the first wave, and I can't believe he came in another set. But yeah, same exact figure for the first wave. I like the unicorn pajamas, those are funny. And he does have a double-sided face, one side he's sleeping, one side he's awake. But I really don't have anything else to say about him. It's Jaden, same Jaden figure we got before. What else is there to say? And so, overall, what are my thoughts on this set? I like this set a lot, I genuinely think it's the best set of this wave. Price on this one's genuinely kind of incredible, which is something I don't say all too often anymore because LEGO is very expensive nowadays. But no, $30 for this is great, I'm surprised they're not charging $35 or $40, but I'm very glad that they're not. Two exclusive figures here is fantastic too, like that was not needed at all, but hey, I mean, I'll take it. Yes, it would have been nice to see the normal versions of Mr. Oz and Albert, but these new versions are really, really good. So as I said, there's positives and negatives to that. The build, I like overall. The actual car build, very, very good. The space attachments, I think, could be a little bit better. They're not bad by any means. But in the main build, I think the wings could be a little bit bigger. And I don't know, I feel like the rover just could have more parts to it, be more interesting. That being said, this is only a $30 set, and I think I should keep that in mind. And with that in mind, this is a great value for $30. So if you're a fan of LEGO Dreams, or even just a fan of LEGO Space, I'd actually highly recommend this set. It's fun to play with, it's a great display piece, and you have three different options on how you want to build it. Yeah, the designers really did do a fantastic job. I am thoroughly happy with this one. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and let me know in the comments which LEGO Dream set you want to see an early review on next. But as of this one, I think that's about all I have to say, so thanks for watching everybody, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!